Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. And today we are going to be continuing our journey into the obscure facts presented within the ever expanding Vivia Card data book by delving into the second half of the Sabadi Archipelago Boost Pack. And as always, I must give a big thanks to the Library of O'Hara for the translation of this ever intriguing stuff. And as per usual, a link to Arta's website will be in the description below. So let's get into this one. And we are going to commence with one of the most legendary figures in the One Piece world, the Dark King, Silver's Rayleigh. According to this here card business, Mr. Ray Lee made a firm decision to train Luffy in the art of Haki only after witnessing his actions during the Paramount War in regards to attempting to save his brother Ace. And in addition to that, we have some of Ray Lee's very particular skills laid out here. And the card makes particular mention that he is an incredible analyst, highly capable of correctly breeding and implementing action to effectively deal with most situations. And I found that to be quite cool because I'd never personally thought of him that way before. But looking back on most of his known actions in the series, everything is generally quite exceptionally calculated. I mean, the only thing the guy really sucks at is gambling. But even then, he has an entire system set up to relieve him of debt. Furthermore, his prowess in armament hockey is also mentioned, taking note that even at his age, it still remains strong enough to combat an admiral, which we all very much saw during his brief skirmish with Kizaru. Other than that, we now have his official height, which is a fairly tall 188 centimeters, although not so tall for the One Piece world, I guess, as well as the fact that his blood type is XF. And finally, it would appear that his favorite food, for whatever reason, is boiled beans. Not to hate on beans, beans are wonderful. I suppose, and some of my best friends are beans. It just strikes me as a very simplistic choice, but then again, that does reflect Rayleigh's general lifestyle quite well. Moving on to the enigma that is Shaki. And I was hoping the starter book might confirm her relationship status with Rayleigh due to the massive semantic confusion surrounding the usage of the term husband in various translations. But the Vivia card simply refers to her as his romantic partner. So they are indeed a thing, but until stated otherwise, referring to them as husband and wife is incorrect as far as I'm concerned, regardless of whatever the Funimation subs would have you believe. Now the card also goes on to reveal Shaki's age, which is an astounding 64 years old. So I'd say that she's done pretty damn well for her herself and was apparently quite a notorious pirate around 40 years ago. And the card implies that she is in fact a very powerful individual, which I suspect is going to fuel a lot of current and future theories about her possibly being associated with the ever vague rocks. It also states here that she assisted Rayleigh in returning the Gorgon sisters being Boa Hancock, Marigold and Santa Sonia to the island of Amazon Lily, who along with Gloriosa feel indebted to her as a result. However, these days, apart from running the ripoff bar, one of Shaki's fondest hobbies is keeping an eye on the next generation of pirates. And she is very much a fan of our protagonist, Monkey D. Luffy. Other than that, she is 186 centimeters tall with a blood type of X and a very predictable favorite quote unquote food of whiskey. Next up, we have Kami. And the most important question answered here is in relation to her name, which has been forever back and forth between Kami and Kami for its romanization. But as of the start book, the official romanization is indeed Kami. And at first, it seems like Kami stands out quite a lot at a ridiculous height of 197 centimeters, but the card does note that that includes the full extension of her tail. Furthermore, her blood type is X and her dish of choice is shark brulee. Then we have Kami's starfish companion, Papug. And just like Kami, his name has been subject to a bit of weirdness in regards to romanization, having been both called Papug and Papug, like with a U in that second one, at different points in the series. The Vivi card sets the record straight though, with him being Papug with an A, as well as a blood type of XF and his favorite food are the clams that Kami makes for him. Aw. Also, here's an interesting thing. Apparently, Papug is 33 years old, which is, wow. He's almost twice as old as Kami, who is 18 post time skip. But you know, I suppose he must have a decent amount of life experience to become a fashion icon of the One Piece world with his criminal brand. And all right, so if you were wondering who the tallest person to be featured in this edition of the One Piece Vivia card is, he has arrived. Behold. Duval, who stands at a truly ridiculous 470 centimeters. Just to translate this one for our American friends, that is over 15 feet or whatever crazy unit of measurement you use tall. Whatever the case, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty tall. And the other information we've discovered is that Duval is 25 years old with a blood type of S and a hankering for pig leg. And while not the Godzilla of height that Duval is, Beppo was here to show some mink pride, standing at 240 centimeters. So about half Duval, really. He also has a blood type of S, and furthermore, his favorite food is kakigori, which is a shaved ice dessert, which makes sense being a, a polar bear and all. And now it's time for everyone's favorite part of these videos, a segment that I'm highly tempted to call miscellaneous birthdays. So let's revisit some characters detailed in the starter book who most of us didn't even know had names and learn when to celebrate their various days of birth. And first up, we have some more heart pirate members being Penguin and Shachi. And these two are fairly popular. I mean, I, I think I'm using the word popular quite liberally there, but still they're well known, let's say that. Along with their fellow 
American patriot John Bart. Coming up next, we have Antonio, who was the owner of the Grumman store on Sabadi, which was frequented by Luffy, along with Minolva and Gariken, who were two highly insignificant bounty hunters who attempted to capture the Straw Hats. We also have Devil Dias, a man with the former bounty of 60 million berries before he became a slave of St. Rosbard, as well as Peterman, the leader of the kidnapping gang known as the Hound Pets. Oh, and speaking of Hound Pets, we also have Saru, world noble papa extraordinaire who is best known for peeing on Devil Dias. And finally, we have two more animals being Duval's noble steed, Motobaro, as well as Sea Bunny. But that pretty much does it for this edition of One Piece Vivia Card. If you enjoyed this video and the content this channel produced in general, then please do consider donating to the Grand Line Review Patreon, because the support of all of you amazing people is what continues to make this channel possible. And if you'd like to see more videos like this but apply to other anime and manga series, then please do check out my second channel, New World Review, for all of your wider needs. And if you'd like to join the fun at any time, then please do head over to my Discord server, where a wide array of shenaniganry takes place on a daily basis. And finally, please do comment with your thoughts on this wonderfully obscure, information. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.